Universal's Islands of Adventure, where the adventure begins. Today, the holiday adventure. Hey everybody, my name is Jackie, you're watching Super Enthused, and today we're at Universal Orlando's Islands of Adventure for a holiday adventure. It's the first day of Grinchmas here. Grinchmas is a holiday show that goes on, you can find the dates on the Universal Orlando website, and it goes on several times throughout the day, but it is wildly popular. People line up like an hour, half hour before the show to get good seats. It tells the story of the Grinch that we all know and love so much. Also, the wizarding world of Harry Potter is holidayed out. And I mean, the Harry Potter verse during Christmas is what it's all about. So since we're on the Islands of Adventure side, we're gonna check out Hogsmeade today. We're gonna come back for another video to check out the Universal side, check out Diagon Alley, and all of the beautiful things going on over there. But today, it's all about Islands of Adventure and holiday adventure. So let's go have one. And hi to Julia, who I just met. Hopefully I'll see ya in the comments below. Thanks for saying hi. We're gonna pop into the trading company really quick because I just love to see what they have for the holidays. Just a little quick stop in and the first thing I see are holiday lanyards. I'm still using my Halloween Horror Nights lanyard so it might be time for an upgrade. Here we are entering Seuss Landing. There are still some walls up over here but we're gonna check out what is up already. It's all lit up and covered in garlands. Everything in Seuss Landing is covered in pretty decorations. And there are these pretty frosty trees everywhere. The lamp posts are all pretty. So like it indicates here on the sign, please arrive at least 20 to 30 minutes prior to showtime. We're here for the 145 show. It's almost one, so we're gonna get ready to start queuing up. The Who's are out hooing around. What are they doing? They're hanging up stockings. Hi, Who's. <laughs> hanging up your Christmas stockings? We are trying. We are trying. The tall Who is the tallest. I know who's tall enough who maybe get it for you. Who? He's green. He's furry. Well, not him, but yeah. Oh, there's a green furry guy. He's kind of tall. Oh, that works. <laughs> they need some help from the Grinch to hang their stocking up there. I really think he'll help them, maybe later. Ah, it's time. It's time to go in. Universal Orlando invites you to open your heart and enjoy the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular. But every who knew from their 12 toes to their snout they loved Christmas the most, without a single who doubt. Ask any who, and they'll have this to say. Hanging a mistletoe ring. And they're hanging their stockings. 
The Grinch snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his green Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. But how? He laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked. What a great grinchy trick! With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like Saint Nick! I'm speaking in rhyme! Blast! <laughs> He thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied. You're not helping. <laughs> uh, there's a, a light on this tree that, that won't light on one side. <laughs> so I'm taking it home, home to my workshop, my dear. Well, I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. <laughs> Rhyming again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't forget about the Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. Then all the Who's down in Whoville will all cry boo-hoo. Now that's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the stump. It started in low, then it started to grow. The sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Very. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. Bring your cheer, cheer to all who's far and near. It's a nice tree. It's a nice, pretty tree. 
and it's got some nice Universal Studios ornaments. That was so much fun watching the Grinchmas show and now we're a little hungry and thirsty so we're gonna head into Hogsmeade, try to get a hot butter beer and check out the awesome holiday decorations that are up already. There's a nighttime projection show which we are not gonna see today but we are definitely gonna come back for that so make sure you stay tuned. It's the first day of Grinchmas and the first day of like all the holiday stuff out in full force so it is jam packed today but still fun. In addition to the normally snow-covered buildings, they're also covered in string lights and garland and extra holiday decor. So we decided to get in line for lunch at Three Broomsticks. There's three right there. Bam, bam, bam. Three Broomsticks. So hungry. Here in the window, there's a sampling of the different menu items. There's the great feast that looks amazing. One day, one day we'll come back for that great feast. Chicken looks good. I think I'm going to go for the shepherd's pie. We have the salad, chicken and ribs. Everything looks really good. I ordered the shepherd's pie with ranch salad dressing and Sam ordered the ribs. And it comes with chicken too, huh? There's some rotisserie chicken and some corn and fish and chips. Oh, and fish and chips. Those look really good. <laughs> yeah. And we ordered hot butter beer. Trying hot butter beer for the first time. It's chilly out in Florida today, so this is very perfect. A bird just flew by. Mmm. Yeah, so the top foamy part is a little chilly, but once you get under that, it's warm and soothing. It tastes like a caramel latte. A delicious caramel latte. And now we're gonna dig into our food. Mm. Yum. So it's like filled with meat and veggies inside, mashed potatoes. It's fun though. Warm and good. One of the best things about eating in Three Broomsticks is the feel, the theming, the decor. The Christmas decorations just take it up a notch in cozy factor. It is so incredibly cozy. It really brings you into the films and the books. It's such a cozy place to have lunch. There's a lot going on in Hogsmeade today. The holidays are in full force. Whoa, so many sounds and lights everywhere. Handing out tambourines. Oh, that is so fun. That is really cool. Jurassic Park. Let's have a little bit of a walk through as we make our way out of the park. A lot of construction walls, a lot of rumors. We'll see. We'll see what's coming. So we're being rerouted out of the Jurassic Park area down this sort of corridor they've created out of construction walls and potted plants. No time for Reign of Kong today. Next time though. Oh, I love it. Grinchmas, lunch, holiday decor, and a hot butter beer. I'd say we had a successful morning here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. If you're gonna be out for the holidays, Grinchmas is a very, very cute and funny show that everybody loves. So I do recommend getting in line about 20 minutes early. All of the seats are fine, so you'll be good. Lunch at Three Broomsticks was good. You really can't go wrong with a shepherd's pie. It was yummy potatoes, meat, veggies, I mean, can't go wrong. Hot butter beer was like a warm caramel latte. It was good and it was nice on a chilly day like today. It is really cold in Florida this weekend. This is nice. So with that, we are gonna head out of this park and go on to the next adventure. Both of these will be out next week. So make sure you're subscribed if you're new here and make sure you stay tuned if you're already part of the super enthused fam. Are we a fam? I will see you guys next time. I am gonna bundle up and head out of here. So until the next adventure, stay jolly and stay enthused.